Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Shortridge. I'm an elementary art teacher here at Collegium Charter School. I am over at the 486 building and I teach grades 2 through 4. A typical day in my life begins at 8 o'clock in the morning. I head out and help the parent pickup line. It's one of my favorite parts of the day because I really get to see all the kids start their day. And then, uh, you know, the whole good morning, how's your day, it puts me in a good mood and kind of gets them set as well. Um, after that, we have our announcements and then we move into a second grade class. Right now, we're really exploring how to create 3D images with curve and flat line. And we tied that into our Valentine's Day and Jump Rope for Heart. So that was really exciting. Um, after that, I do a little bit of recess duty and, you know, shoot some hoops with the kids. Just kidding. We, we do a lot of running around to get some of their energy out and some lunches. And then they're back to class. After that, I have my own lunch, which is really nice because I'm hungry by then after seeing their lunches. I'm in third grade right after my lunch, and then I get a chance to dive into the color wheel with them. We're doing a little bit of pop art, so that's exciting. And they're learning about complementary pair colors and how that applies to sports teams with our yellow and purple, our red and green, and our blue and orange. And they're applying that to a crazy pop art picture, including a heart. Last, I have fourth grade, and we're doing another color theory, and they get to pick their own design and really pop out that heart on their picture as well. My day ends with a dismissal duty, so after fourth grade, I head over to my other building with kindergarten and first grade, and I call their buses, and I get to see everybody end their day as well, so it's a good closure to my day and their day. So it's really hard to narrow my favorite thing about Collegium down to one sole thing. So I broke the rules and picked two. First thing is the ability to really reach every child. As an art teacher, I have them only once a week, but I have them long enough to really be able to talk to every child and see what they need. Here we have so much support and so much ability to reach every child that I get a lot of those light bulb moments. So it's nice to have one child and have them start at one deal and then watch them literally progress, have that light bulb, and then all of a sudden they get it. And then they turn around and help somebody else. So it's really nice to see them learn their own skill and then be able to pass it on and work together with a peer. Second, I really have to throw a shout out to the staff. I mean, here it's seriously a family. There's so much support when it comes to my art department, but also when it comes to the people in my own building. I can go to anyone, ask a question, and they're willing to help, as well as, hey, you know, I need jumpers for my car, and they're right there willing to help me just like a family member. So I feel really special being able to work here, um, and that comes from the favorite of the students and also the favorites of the staff. A lot of my day is happening inside of school, but I also have a lot of hobbies outside of school. I've played volleyball my whole life, so on Mondays I go and join my girls that I've been playing with since I was 14, and we play all the time outside of that as well, which is really nice, especially when it's warm out. I also do a lot more things outside. I'm a really big gardener. I have a huge vegetable garden at home. I have fruit trees, I have nut trees. Um, I also have beehives, which is really exciting. They are kind of dormant right now, taking a sleep, hibernating like bears do, but they're about to wake up soon and so are all my flowers, so I'm really excited for that. I'm shaking, I don't even know why. <laughs> That's one where like I have to remember not to trail. Can I read my thing really quick? Mm -hmm.